action movie with Charlie's Throne and a quirky comedy are available for streaming this week. And here to review The Old Guard and Palm Springs, our film critics, Chuck Kaplinski and Pam Powell. And we've got Pam hanging out with, Al with us first. Hey, Pam. Hey, how are you? I'm good, but I think we're going to start with Chuck today, who's going to tell right. us all about The Old Guard. The old guy is going to tell us about the old guard. Go for it, Chuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to mention between the two of us who is older. I'm not going to mention that. Okay. Uh -oh. The old guard. Boy, you know what? This, this title is so accurate in so many ways because there's so many old things in this movie that they try to make fresh that aren't. Uh, Charlize Theron stars as Andy, and of course, you know you're off to a bad start when you have a woman with a man's name because they're going out of their way to try to be cutesy, quirky, whatever. She's the leader of this uh, band of uh, mercenary people, and uh, you know they go around and they rescue people and they get shot and all that good stuff. I swear, as I was watching this, I was thinking, I've seen this movie recently with uh, Chris Hemsworth, Extraction, another Netflix film, very similar, at least for the first 20 minutes. The trick here, though, is that Charlize and her buddies, three guys, the old guard, they are eternal. They can be killed again and again and again, but they just keep coming back. And this gets the attention of a mysterious kind of corporation who wants to then capture them and study their genes. They think that perhaps they can help, uh, by studying their genes, help cur cure certain uh, diseases, perhaps even make us eternal, help us heal quicker. That at least is the theory behind this. And wouldn't you know it, there's also a new one. A soldier who has been killed, played by Kiki Lane, by the name of Nile. There's another cutesy kind of a name, uh, <laughs> who is just figuring out that she too is eternal and this leads to all sorts of problems. And, you know, I watched this movie and there's some interesting ideas here. This whole notion of uh, giving uh, to help future generations, this whole notion of studying genes and things like that. That science fiction stuff is good. This action stuff that they do, though, is so, so tired. I am so tired of gun battles and fist fights that don't add to the story. I don't mind that they move along, but I counted at least three sequences in which the fights meant nothing. They didn't move the story story along. They didn't do anything to add anything to the story. It was just so that Charlize could, you know, throw people around and be tough. And with all of her action movies, she's become a parody of herself. I can't take her seriously anymore in any of these roles. I really did not like The Old Guard, and unfortunately, it is set up for a sequel at Netflix. Really? Pam, are you a Charlize fan? You know what, I am. Um, I really admire her. I admire what she does as far as standing for women and being, and I didn't even think about Chuck, her being Andy. Of course, I don't know, can you tell us what her full name is in the movie? I kind of like Andy. I liked it a lot more than you did. I loved the ending. It did set it up for a sequel. And I was okay with all the action sequences and I thought they were well choreographed. So I definitely liked it better. And I really like Kiki Lane. Um, I think she did a wonderful job. She's a young actress from the Chicago area, actually. Horrible so, yeah, performance. Horrible performance from Kiki Lane. Horrible. Okay. We interviewed her, didn't we? We did. The, uh, if Beale Street Could Talk. Yeah. Phenomenal right. film. Yeah, she was good there. Well, maybe <laughs> Palm Springs was uh, more up your alley. Pam, let's you know, hear what I, you think. I, I, Palm Strings, I mean, if, if you enjoyed Bill Murray's Groundhog Day, you're going to love this spin on that familiar tale. Andy Samberg plays Niles, a reluctant guest at a wedding in Palm Springs. And he has stumbled into a time loop, and he is destined to repeat that same day over and over again. Imagine being at a wedding that you don't really want to be at and at a reception for eternity. Sounds like you know where. Unfortunately, there's also Sarah, played by Christine Miliati, and she's the bride's drunk and bitter sister. And she witnesses Roy, played by J.K. Simmons, hunting Niles with a bow and arrow and killing him. <laughs> she follows him into the cave where he's grasping for his life, and then that cave is where she, too, becomes stuck in this loop. What makes this more of a refreshing spin on what was my old favorite, Groundhog Day, is the fact that we have three characters stuck in this time loop, and they all have different baggage, and they bring different things to the table. 
All three react differently and all three of them grow because of their situation. And ultimately this turns into a very charming and sweet romantic comedy. Sandberg is great. He brings his signature style of humor to the film and Miliati with him is just a wonderful and unusual force. I didn't really know much about her before this film. And I love J.K. Simmons and everything that he does and this is no exception. And he can do a lot more than playing a bad guy or being in a dramatic film. He's funny, thanks to his timing and voice. In Palm Springs, there is one loophole that I just didn't get. Chuck, you and I need to discuss that. Um, but I'm gonna forgive it that because it really was a lot of fun and you can stream that on Hulu. It was also the highest selling film from Sundance Film Festival ever by 69 cents. Hmm. Oh, by 69 <laughs> cents, interesting. Uh, Chuck, were you a fan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. I, I like this a lot, and I love Andy Samberg. I love him on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. This is his best performance, though. He he had to dig a little deeper. It's a bit more mature at times. Uh, I'm not sure to what what uh, loophole you're referring to, Pam. We, we are going to need to talk, but I found it very, very charming, uh, and I would definitely watch it again. Well, we need to end this segment on a high note. Right, Pam? Oh, 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 well done, well bad. done. <laughs> yes, we do. We have five winners for Digital Code for the high note. One of Chuck and my, we actually agreed on this movie. We both really enjoyed it. Sarah Elder, Andrea Fox, Michael Teague, Monica Roca, and Cara Day, you will receive a digital code to see the high note. Thank you to everyone for entering this contest, and we're going to have a lot more coming your way. So if you didn't win today, you've got more chances coming up. That's right. Stay tuned and make sure you like their Facebook page where they give all of these fun things away and sign up for their newsletter. Real Talk with Chuck and Pam on um, right there. There's the Facebook. And we will have all this on CILiving.tv. Guys, thanks so much for your reviews. Let's chat again soon. Sounds great. Thank thanks, you. Heather.